Hi guys! Come on, yeah, we're serious. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah. This is what I have to do with on a daily basis guys. I know it's not a lie. This is actually how mommy is like this is her all day long. All night long, all night, all night, all night long, all night, all night. Hi guys. <laughs> Anyways, hi guys, so today we are back with with a fun video. Um, there's all these pregnancy myths that go on around, you know, whether the baby's a boy or girl, things not to do or things to do whilst you're pregnant. And lately, one of my main obsessions has been what, mum? Google. So, yes. I go on Google and, you know, I uh, type in... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Do not lie to the viewers. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Messi is taken, guys. Let me tell you the truth. <laughs> you know what I'm here? I don't lie. I don't. She's gone to the dark <laughs> internet. She I'm goes on <laughs> mom's net. <laughs> no, mom. You do. <laughs> You do. No, I have been on mom's net. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Those are the things that I do. WebMD. WebMD. Mum's net, yeah. any of these like mum forums to just like find out like and read up weird stuff. She does. <laughs> so and today we had like a whole conversation about did. how I'm and coming just to the internet. Because we had we had to have a, an intervention earlier on. And by the way, guys, <laughs> Messi at the moment is not the easiest person to talk to. So yeah. anything turns up with you know ends up with her in tears or wishing that she wishing she was part of her part of a different family where she's treated uh, differently because she thinks we are not in in tune with her feelings isn't it sometimes like you know can be you know tell me about myself you know so i thought like, i told about myself you get me let then. me tell you something about your girl messy here <laughs> this is not going back many 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 weeks ago this was literally very recently messy <laughs> wanted to wear a dress right and you know compartmentalize a pregnancy into three parts so there was the knickers here and there was this part which was not supported and she also wanted to have a belt the so we decided to tell her belt. no no mercy there was no way you're going to wear that outfit with a belt mercy still sees herself as not pregnant that is true i am finding it hard to kind of accept that there's like a bump there you know what i'm saying so sometimes when i'm choosing things to wear Pregnancy clothes just look shapeless, mom. Like they don't. So yeah, I wanted to like you know just cinch it in a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> create some yeah, shape. The thing is, at the moment, Mercy is suffering from a very, very bad case of gas. So you know, <laughs> when you start with this, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> How is this going to help tying your this part of your body in? What what are you trying to achieve? Yeah. She's really gassy at the moment, guys, and that's all she does. So you know, yeah, she's taken on to WebMD, and you know, she seems to have answers to every one of her questions because WebMD and Mumsnet are telling her things. Recently, she went to Google in Mumsnet why <laughs> her belly was hairy, and she was told by people that. She was <laughs> She was giving back to a gorilla. <laughs> That's when you go looking for things, guys. You know, I can. Are you gonna drop this one of them? If you go looking for things, you find them. You will find them. Oh my god. Yeah. Because that's what she does. She goes, you know, she literally types in a sentence into Google I'm um, 23, <laughs> this amount weeks pregnant. Why do I have. 124 months pregnant. Yeah, why Please do I tell have, me. Why do I have ankles? And web MD <laughs> goes, you've got cancer. <laughs> that I have an obsession, mm. but. Fair enough, I'm a bit obsessed with going on Google and mm. typing and stuff, right? That's why you are here to help me with this. So, I found this thing on like, mum's net. Her <laughs> <laughs> face, she loves mum's net. And I don't think it's, I think it's the mum, you know, the mum's net uh, version on crack. <laughs> Twitter, there's white Twitter and black Twitter. You know? So you know, hers. I don't think she goes on, you know, the subtle 
one she goes on the one where they are literally out pregnant seeing each other yeah where you know people go i was pregnant for one day and i gave birth the following day <laughs> you know and if do you want to pregnancy a quick pregnancy type of thing i don't know who she follows on mom's net but it's not the mom's net we know it's some other one she goes on i don't know which one which forum this is guys and i don't want you know members of mom's net coming for me because i'm not talking of that mom's net it's another forum she goes on, but it's just a group of moms discussing their yeah. symptoms and pregnancy symptoms and messages. Is absolutely, you know, my favorite. Um, not my favorite forum, but I'm not allowed to. It is your it. favorite forum. But yeah, on this forum, it's either yeah. I looked at Chinese calendars and it told you whether the baby is a boy. I don't know how the Chinese do it, but anyways, they do it anyway, mm -hmm. right? But the Chinese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The Chinese calendar is a bit so complicated. She's, she's getting birth to a chicken. <laughs> and the other thing is pregnancy, like myths. So they tell you like different things. If you're feeling a type of way, if you look at that way, maybe your baby girl, maybe your baby's a girl, or maybe your baby's a boy. Right. Where I come from, I'm Zimbabwean, right? So we we have our own <laughs> myths, and I, I think many people can relate to this. I remember when I was pregnant with my with, with my daughter, right? When this is many many moons ago, I was not allowed to drink Coca Cola, guys. Why? Because the baby would come out dark. <laughs> <laughs> No, so they'll tell you that you're not allowed to drink coke because the baby will come out dark. No, and also there's this thing where you know, like people go, Oh, this pregnancy likes me, so it's, it must be a girl type of thing. So, you know, there are some people who I've heard mom say that so many times. She always says that boy pregnancies love her, and girl pregnancies tend to just be like, Yeah, but uh, do you know what? I, I think there's some truth to that because I remember when I was great, when well, I suppose. Because you, you know when you're pregnant, there's some people you really... When, when my friend, two of my friends were pregnant, right? Uh, one of them um, literally used to stalk me. Yeah. She would stalk me everywhere. She would stalk me. I would come back from a night shift and she would literally be sat in a car outside. As soon as I tried to put the key <laughs> Bang, bang! I made you breakfast kind of thing. And she was never like that before she was pregnant. And you know she would cry if I didn't call her, or she would feel you know you know the weird thing. So like is it that. true that pregnancies actually like certain people and they don't like certain people? I think so. You I actually mean, believe in that? I mom. believe that. I, I think some pregnancies do like some people. Like oh, your pregnancy hates me because all she that does is such a lie. Her pregnancy absolutely distastes me, guys. Every time she sees me, she's either rolling her eyes or she. Do you know why it is? Not pregnancy hate you. Do you know what it is? When my I'm, mom used to be butt cheek to butt cheek basically left cheek and right cheek like i love to do things you know mom loves to do things so mm. we'll do things together but these days yeah i'm just so lazy what happens is you know when i go into the living when i'm upstairs minding my own business i can hear go messy go <laughs> with coco and absolutely having the time of their life it's literally banter in that house and messy is like bantasaurus as soon as i walk in she's like hi messy hi Oh, that is, mom, that is not true. It's true. That is not that, true. This that is down to hormones. That's actually just hormones. what it is. Hormones. It's hormones. 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 That's what it is. I don't think so. I just think this pregnancy doesn't particularly like me. And even it's when... It's a lie. Yeah, because she will... A messy will find any reason to fight me. I won't. I'm just very argumentative lately. Yeah, so that's the thing. I think that's not a myth that's true. Some some pregnancies like comment below guys if what I'm saying is not true, but I think it's it's true. And the other thing that you know when I, it, you know to me these things are not myths. These are things I was raised to. They are old wives tales to some of you who are going to be on this channel. So I was told never to sit or uh, at a door because the baby will not come out. You know, like when you're just chilling by the So when you were being told these old wives tales, did you actually like I believed it? them. So you never sit in front no, of the door? Never. The other thing, you know when you when I when we were growing up when you're pregnant, you were told uh, you know, never to massage your belly after a meal because the baby will be greedy. And I'm actually thinking it's true, guys. Because with my son, you know, when I, whenever I finish eating, I'll literally sit there and, you know, just... You know, it's, it's just the contentment of just having finished your food and you're massaging your belly. My son is the greedy. <laughs> <laughs> really? really? He's so greedy. So, my son bakes meals. <laughs> you know, when he goes to school, when he goes to school, he wants to eat everything that you've ate when he was not there. So I'm thinking it was because I was always doing this to my belly. 
Hey, you should never massage your belly because the baby will come out greedy and I used to massage my belly a lot and I've got a greedy son mm -hmm. I'll leave you with this one guys you know when when I was pregnant in my time and bless her heart my mother-in-law she said to me you know what you know you need to start preparing the passageway for the baby to come and the best way to do this is by using uh, elephant dung so what she used to do, she went and found, I don't know where she found this elephant dung. I was about to say, where me. do you get elephant? She found elephant dung oh, for wow. me, right? And so you would burn it and just try and do this, which you, you visual, visualize this YouTube family. You'd, you know, widen your legs over the smoke, you know, and then the smoke will be going up your hoo-ha just to make sure that your hoo-ha... Because, I mean, the, 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 the science behind it was mm. that if an elephant doesn't need any pain relief to give birth to a baby elephant yeah so surely there must be some some something in the cow in the elephant dung to help your you know widen up for the baby to come right so there's there are quite a few things that you know people do but that was one of them i can remember one day my father-in-law was coming back and you had to take off your panties as well guys whilst you're you know your your, 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 your legs are wide apart over this <laughs> Elephant dung and everything. The smoke is coming up and you're coughing and tears are streaming down your eyes. Why are you doing that in England, me? You end up on child protection. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. Know, so you know, these are things that you know our parents would impart them to me. So what what would I tell Messi? I would tell Messi not to rub your belly. So it, it, it's quite exciting times for us guys. So obviously we've. Uh, dedicated this channel to everything pregnancy related so if there are any things that you want us to discuss please discuss with us thanks guys i hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah don't go mom's net <laughs> don't go on mom's net that's all i have to tell you guys do not go on mom's net and if you are of course african go and ask your moms about some of the stuff that they were told when they were growing up and they were pregnant and yeah and, and every culture guys not just african every culture has got its own old wives tales i'm sure some of our caucasian friends out there yeah. got some things they can tell us all right if your belly is hairy it's a boy if you're craving salt and savory food it's a boy um i heard that baby girls steal their mom's beauty so you're a bit very ugly <laughs> during your pregnancy <laughs> i had a baby boys make you really really dark in complexion like guys this is not even a myth have you seen how pregnant women's noses come all the way to here mrs mrs nose is i just widen it <laughs> And she, you literally, when I'm sat next to Messi, she sucks all the air out of me. So what you said in the other video, you said that I don't have a nose anymore. You said when I look to the side, <laughs> it looks like I don't have a nose. Some of this, we're going to look back on it and laugh at it. So yeah, definitely. We, it is also for purely our own diary so that we can look at these things and with the baby, when the baby comes. So we've decided to share and make this video is very much pregnancy related and it is very journey. personal sometimes it is quite personal so, so you know forgive us if this is not very entertaining for you yeah. not very entertaining and it's not your cup of tea yeah but please st stick with us definitely with, when once this baby has been kicked out of this this stomach guys is back to all things lingerie all things mercy talking about men are trash <laughs> and boys <laughs> and so at the moment she's trying to keep it parental guidance 